A few videos ago, I asked you guys this. I want to start a series on the YouTube channel. It's going to be termed Next Preparation. Well, if you do think this is a good idea, please let me know down below in the comments. And the response I got was absolutely crazy. So, here's the series. If you're new here, my name is Anuj. I'm a third year MBBS student at GMC Nagpur. And welcome to the channel. So, what is this Next Prep series? So, as you all know, Next National Exit Test is an exam which we're going to give in a few months. And through this series, I want to be accountable and I want to give you guys the updates on whatever I am studying on a day-to-day -day basis. How many subjects have completed? What were my personal experiences? experiences studying them and what are the best sources slash textbooks that you should use to study them. So for any MBBS student, I think this should be a pretty good starting guide for your preparation. And if you're a neat aspirant watching this, this will be a pretty good video to tell you about what are the different things that we actually study in MBBS. And this will be absolutely unscripted. So whatever I'm saying is, you know, just on spot and whatever the things which I'm feeling like. Right, so the start of the video, let's go on the different subjects that we have for next. The main subjects that we are going to be focusing on over here are the final year subjects. So we've got ENT, Ophthalm, PSM, and then we've got Medicine surgery, OBG, by pediatrics, gynecology, all of that stuff. So out of these subjects, how many subjects have I actually completed? So as you can see, I am done with ophthalmology. I'm also done with ENT as you can see and community medicine. So these are subjects we have in 30 MBBS. Along with that, I watched a few lectures of radiology, surgery, orthopedics and obstetrics. My current target is actually to go and study medicine. So I'm starting with the nephrology unit because I like that the most. Let us talk about each of these subjects and how I approach them. The first one just started was ENT and the first time that I started it was in a study with me video. And I think personally, uh, ENT has been taught very well by Manisha ma'am. Along with ENT, I read the book of Dingra for my university examinations and for my practical examinations. And I think doing that much is very much sufficient for your university exams as well as for next. Ophthalmology was very well taught again. But the thing is that ophthalm is personally for me very, very volatile. I don't remember a thing that I've studied after like two or three hours. So it is a pretty difficult subject for me. I think a lot of my friends also resonate with me on this one because ophthalm, I don't know, it just is difficult for us. Lastly, for community medicine, before diving into the major book of Park that I read in the last video, I definitely recommend all of you guys to watch any video lectures from any app. So I've used the lectures of Mukmo sir. But if you have any other subscription, such as Vivek Jain sir etc etc you can watch their lectures as well the most important thing is that before starting community medicine go ahead and watch the lectures of that particular topic which you have to read because if you just dive on nascently into park you will lose yourself in words and you will not understand what is going on in the first place so I think doing these three things in third year MBBS just watching the lectures of these three things as well as doing the question banks and reading the book is more than more than sufficient to you know conquer anything really loved about ENT was that once I just started watching ENT I actually started feeling like ENT might be the actual branch for me because I really love the different concepts in ENT and I just fell in love with the subject so that's what happened when I was studying ENT I would genuinely love to be an ENT surgeon if I could get that branch that is I don't know whether it was because of the way ma'am taught it or the way the subject actually is but it's it is just awesome if you're even in second year MBBS I would suggest start with ENT because you will just fall in love with the subject and that way you will end up completing the subject very very fast coming to the next subject we just started it was ophthalmology I started with the lectures and I read the book very very late uh, actually I read it like just a month ago for my practical examinations and I'll tell you that ophthalm is a difficult subject for me and when you're going to be in second year please don't do ophthalmology as your subject for third year because what will happen is that you will forget every single thing and then you'll have to rewatch the lectures or slash read your notes 10 times to just understand what is going on so ophthalmology should be the last thing that you start in second year lastly solve the question bank of community medicine because that is like the gold mine if you solve the question bank once and if you note down all the mistakes it is equivalent to reading park I can just you know state that statement right away because I have seen they have you know picked up questions from every single vertex every single corner of park like all the small small charts small small tables which are given in park which you would not read otherwise they have been covered in the question bank so as you can see in the question bank section i have completed the question banks of first and second year almost all of second year has been done except for pathology and forensic medicine nowadays forensic medicine is moved into third year so the reason i did the anatomy physiology and biochemistry question banks was because those were the very basic ones and for second year mbbs as you can see microbiology is done except for a few parts of parasitology which i basically let's just say that i never ever studied parasitology it was just let's not go over there Next, pathology. I have left out a few question banks and I will do them when I study medicine because there's a huge integration between medicine, surgery and pathology. Basically, every single disease gets back in surgery. And that's what I've noticed here as well. Key, once you study surgery, every other lecture sir will say, okay, okay, you should correlate this with pathology. Lastly, let's talk about pharmacology. Pharmacology was one of my most favorite subjects in second year MBBS. And the reason is Ranjan Kumar Patel sir has done a great job, you know, explaining the lectures to us. Of course, that was back when in edition four, I watched all the lectures of pharmac, patho, micro, 
pro you know you can go ahead and watch the older study with me episodes you will see that i've completed these lecture series here as well and also did the forensic medicine over here but so even if you are a second year mba student in the starting itself you can start with radiology because at that point you are aware about the basic pathology the inflammation all of that so once you start with radiology now you will get a very good understanding and anybody if they offer you okay ye mera x ray hai aur ye mera uh, ct scan hai ya mri hai so you will have at least some sort of confidence ki okay i am able to you know understand even what is the basic i am able to understand a normal anatomy or something like that and for radiology you need to have a strong relationship with anatomy and the relationships of anatomy because that's what we see in radiology cross sections and different images all of that and personally i think that i am absolutely in love with radiology radiology however is a you know very very high ranking only the people in the top like 500 or 1000 get radiology i think i don't know i'm a stupid person anyways moving on surgery i guess surgery was also another subject which i absolutely fell in love with you uh, am i saying this too much uh, is it like i like all the subjects is uh, surgery so surgery i loved it and the way rohan sir has taught us is phenomenal and actually rohan sir inspired me very much to pursue you know surgery as a career in the future but i don't know what what is going to happen with me in the future we are going to get to that in a minute begins fire from surgery i started orthopedics and ob obstetrics because these are the two surgical branches so the second part of this video would be like what is my future plan with uh, when am i going to complete everything what is the time uh, duration to complete everything etc etc so i would say that i am going to complete the entire part of marrow probably till august i would say august is the date where you know i would have completed all the lectures of uh, the remaining subjects which i've got and i will start with the main subjects in the background uh, and in the foreground i will keep doing the short subjects so short subjects like dermatology anesthesia psychiatry this require a little amount of time and at the same time they give you a lot more motivation to keep going because as you see the progress bar in the modules go up you find a sense of relief ki chalo meri preparation kuch to ho rahi hai whether if you were to just tackle on medicine that is got 222 lectures you would not feel so good even after watching like 50 lectures because that progress bar would be very very small so in the main sense i'm going to complete the short subjects but every single day before i go to sleep watching three or four lectures of medicine just before i go to bed that is like start a lecture at 11:30 and end it like at 1:30 or so without taking any notes just listening to what sir has to say to understand what the concepts are i think that's how i'm going to tackle medicine i'm not going to make any notes because i personally am too alsi for that sort of stuff and there's you know marrow notes available uh, anyways so that is my strategy for covering up medicine and if i let's say do five lectures every single day it will take me around 60 to 75 days but let's just let's be honest i'm not going to do five lectures every day so it will take me at least 100 or so days to complete medicine I have to focus on also is the question bank so let us talk more about the question bank and how i'm keeping myself consistent to be honest as you can see i've completed 337 question banks that's that's like 40% of the total amount of question banks and as you can see this was my calendar for january i got covid in the like last week of january so it was pretty bad i did not do anything i am good now as you might be able to see and as you can see in the last week i have not done a single question bank and uh, the reason is i'm preparing for university examinations right now and ronsal also told me keep focus now more on university examinations so how am i keeping myself consistent and so first of all is setting up high goals and second of all keeping an accountability uh, thing so this is an accountability thing you know by keeping this i am motivating others as well and motivating myself ki okay do this question banks every single day you will gain from them and of course you will keep yourself consistent so when i was talking with the dr darshan patel he has secured an all india rank 2 in i guess uh, jipmer examination so he is a pretty intelligent guy and he also told me the same thing ki just do the question banks every single day and be consistent with it so this is my current progress with the q bank tracker and i think the q bank tracker is a pretty powerful tool if you want to analyze ki how is your progress being done how everything is going on now let's talk about how am i actually preparing so preparing means you have to rectify your mistakes you have to look at uh, your mistakes which you have already done and you have to not repeat them in the future so as you can see this is the q bank of community medicine uh, as you can see in the starting part i've got a pretty good score go ahead and see something like uh, anthropod bone diseases i've only got like a 60 71 percentile so what you have to do is that whenever you're reviewing the question bank now just look at the pearls which are given down below and these pearls are very very important so note down the pearl number in your mistake book and note down the question number in your mistake book that way you can get back to it and of course this is a very stupid question i did wrong and once you start doing this you will notice that your mistake book fills up and you notice that you don't make uh, mistakes once again what you can also do is that toggle this switch off to tumhe answer nahi pata rahega you have to guess the answer correct and then you can you know in a way mentally review the question banks once again before you know actually solving them right uh, what i like about these question banks is that 
that their crystal clear and the explanation given beneath them is actually also pretty good it might feel like i'm just talking too much marrow but uh, to be really really honest now the only preparation source that i'm using right now is marrow i don't have a single other app and i don't have any sort of coaching the only other things which i'm using apart from marrow would be i would say the books which are of course the most important resource anybody could get beyond marrow that is if you read the books that's it that's where the marrow lectures are made from the books okay uh, so i've been blabbering a lot a lot okay next up is that i feel like my university examinations are coming up and how am i preparing for my university examinations along with this next stuff coming up so the basic thing i already told you is that i'm reading the books and i think that every single student should read the book because if you don't read a book whenever you're preparing there's no point in your preparation because uh, i feel like to become a good doctor you have to have the knowledge of the books right the next uh, thing that i want to talk about is this thing called as a uh, neat pg and next तो करेंटली ना फॉर 2018 बैच फॉर थर्ड एम बी बी स्टूडेंट्स लाइक माई सेल्फ देर इज नो क्लियर इंडिकेशन कि हमारे साथ होने क्या वाला है नीट पीजी होगी या नेक्स्ट होगी इट इज सॉर्ट ऑफ लाइक दैट सॉन्ग कोई ना जाने तुम्हारा फ्यूचर क्या होगा नीट पीजी होगी या नेक्स्ट होगी तो पर्सनली वॉट आई फील जेन्यूनली फ्रॉम माई हार्ट इज वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू फेस नेक्स्ट दिस इज वॉट आई एम फीलिंग इन द नेक्स्ट प्रेप सीरीज आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट वी आर नॉट गोइंग टू बी फेसिंग नेक्स्ट द रीजन वाई आई थिंक that is going to be is that it's just like 10 months are left and they have got no clear indication as to what is going to happen so if they take neat pg now we'll get one year extra in internship to prepare for the exam and that would mean the world to me anyways even if next happens i'll be 100% prepared for it because that's what i do any exam comes up i prepare for it and i you know end up succeeding in it so i really hope that this confidence which i have currently inside me ki no matter what happens i will succeed in an examination i hope that this confidence stays with me for a long period of time Because now uh, in second year MBBS, I started doubting myself. I started asking myself questions: "Ki, um, what will happen to me? Will I be able to, you know, get the answers correct? Will I be able to get the marks right? Will I be able to get into my dream branch or whatever? I don't have a dream branch, by the way. But now in third year MBBS, now I don't feel that sort of imposter syndrome anymore because I have been doing stuff. And once you start doing stuff, all of these things go away. What do I mean by stuff? Doing stuff means actually putting in the work. In second year MBBS, if you give any sort of test, I can. guarantee you that you won't even you know get like a uh, 50 percentile in that test because most of the questions require a higher clinical understanding of the situation but once you are in third year uh, once you give that test i can guarantee that every single time you give a test you will at least score 60 to 75 percentile in, in any test that is so as you go along in your medical journey you will learn a lot of things and one thing is that you learn how to solve questions and once you give a lot of tests uh, you become better at it right so there will be a lot of students watching this who are just in first second year mbbs and even third year mbbs is like me i'll probably go in for the mbbs in like about a month so this is like my last official month so any junior who is watching this i would suggest you a few things unsolicited advice from a senior in a different medical college or the same medical college for that matter so first one is that read your textbooks from cover to cover because those are you know the treasures if you read your textbook well everything will be awesome everything will be working out and you will be so much happy with your life second is that don't buy any sort of subscription until you are in mid second year uh, so i see a lot of comments uh, asking me ki bhai humko dams lena hai humko marrow lena hai ye sab lena hai to when do we get that uh don't get it in first year it's totally useless if you get it in first year you won't even use like 10% of that and you will end up paying everything so that is the thing even if they are offering you selective plan for first year don't take it it's not worth it just study your textbooks enjoy your first year life because tum abhi needs se nikal ke aayo you don't need that sort of pressure in your mind once you are in mid second year buy the plan any plan marrow dams batia whatever you want just go with it because you need an additional thing in your life right now apart from textbook All I'm saying is that whenever you are in mid second year, uh, apart from reading books, you should also consider getting a question bank. And if you are in third year, make sure that you start your final year preparation as you start your third year. So start with any subject you like: orthopedics, radiology, medicine, surgery, gynecology. There are so many different subjects, but in third year, apart from third year, you should have completed at least two or three subjects of final year MBBS because that will reduce your pressure by a lot. And you can easily do the short subjects and you will enjoy them. And in third year, make sure that you attend all your clinical postings. Second year, matter chalo, it might not happen with you guys, but uh, in college as well. What happens is that in second year MBBS कोई बाहों नहीं देता. That's it. In the simplest भाषा कोई बाहों नहीं देता. So once you go in third year, people तुम्हें थोड़ा सा इतनो सा attention देने लग जाते हैं and your clinical posting becomes much much better. Attend all the OTs if you can for every single subject for orthopedics or surgery or something like uh, ENT or of that. So attending the OTs give you a real insight as to what the life of that particular field looks like. And yeah, so that was all my unsolicited advice. The last thing is that what do I want in life? What do I want in life? And uh, 
like I ask myself this question a lot. I'm doing YouTube, I'm doing Exxon, I'm doing so many different things all at once. What do I actually want to be? What kind of doctor do I want to be? And at this point, I am like that eighth grader who does not know uh, what to answer when an auntie asks him, "Ki beta, toh main bade hoke kya banna hai?" I'm at that position. I don't know what branch of what I want. I fall in love with all the subjects that I read because I have always loved science ever since I was in class sixth and people were teaching me about sexual reproduction in flowering plants. So uh, I have loved science all the way. So whatever subject that I read, I fall in love with. Again, managing all of that with YouTube and so many other things, it sometimes just gets a little bit difficult. At this point, I don't know what I want in my life. I just want to keep doing what I love, that is making videos such as this one and making videos for all of you guys watching. Next thing is that I want to become a good doctor, no matter in what field I go. I just want to be a good doctor who treats patients, and I want to relieve the pain, or pain and suffering of other people. Lastly, I want to travel the world. Uh, I'm going to do that this year as well. and i'll take you on a journey with me whenever i do that so these are currently my three main top priorities and spend more time with the people that i love so that was it about my next prep journey so far i mean this is a pretty long video i know by the way if you aren't following me on instagram do that and of course these videos are uh, not not the videos such as this one but most of the videos on the channel take up a long time to make edit produce all of that so if you could just subscribe in 2 seconds it would make up for all that effort that i take <laughs> to make videos anyways it's it's up to you if you don't want to subscribe it's okay but thank you so much if you are subscribed already anyways thank you so much for watching this incredibly long video i mean this was just like a sit and chat video completely totally uh, off the script this was sort of inspired by dr ali abdal uh, is he a doctor though i don't know so um, yeah that's about it thank you so much for watching it's a boy anuj and uh, please consider subscribing and liking this video sharing this to people <sighs> thank you so much guys you mean a lot to me all right bye as you can see in february uh, in the past week i have not done a single chalega chalega